<clears throat> Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading or crypto or Forex, whatever you trade, there is a risk. We're not your financial advisor. You're very welcome to do whatever you want as long as you don't hold us responsible for anything. Uh, yesterday, I did the video. We got a lot of emails. Uh, uh, so today, I wanted to uh, uh, cover what happened yesterday and uh, the results that were accurate, what we predicted yesterday to the tick, and then what we are going to do, we are going to predict for the next day like what we do. We will try our best to do that every day if I can. Uh, this is uh, the from yesterday video. This is where we predicted the support area and we explained how uh, it's going to affect um, Cardano and um, Ethereum. And we I predicted that this is the bottom and it was the bottom. And uh, the market turned around and uh, this is from yesterday video. So today what we are going to do, we're going to just analyze what's going on for today and uh, we will, uh, uh, we will, uh, um, so we can be prepared tomorrow uh, what's going on and we can see where's the levels on the Bitcoin uh, to understand what's going on. So please bear with me here. Uh, also, we have a different system here has already has put a, a lot of signals in there. The first things uh, we do, we look at daily charts. And yesterday we have predicted this area here where it's going to hold, and it did. The problem, and uh, today, uh, this is not a simple indicator in here. That is in conjunction with the six different time frame. And today, and then analyze everything tick by tick from 1 to 30, and all kind of from volatility to MACDs to and then uh, uh, measure the buyers and the sellers so today always today all day long even when the feds talking today the the the, the buyers that were over the red but uh, now because the market close is uh, 1422 uh, after the market close in the US uh, there is more sellers I have not had time to dig into it. It could be amateur trading, selling, closing position. I don't know. I have not had time to look at it. But there is a little gap, a little bit over the buyers. It could be close positions. And um, and uh, and as we see immediately, uh, it's tilted to a little bit more to the downside. But there is no scary moments here the, the reason why i will explain to you where is my prediction on the bitcoin um so yesterday we have a predicted here this area here where the support area if you look at this bar right there is right down to the take to the take gentlemen at the 44 level and this is a very thick resistant area for the Bitcoin. What we really need desperately overnight and tomorrow is to break the 44 level. If we are able to break the 44 level, we are gonna start tangle again around 46 level. And then from the 46 level, your Bitcoin is almost a home free. This is a just minor resistance. So we have two bridges we need to cross. If those buyers start coming in, if we can penetrate that area here, then we're gonna go on the last step on the Bitcoin. And that once we skip the 46, is going to have a breakout. So this is the, the the bigger time frame on a daily chart indicating uh, those are harsh levels uh, where those big wells depend on those lines here and some other things also we can explain 
but um, uh, you you need to it's very important you need to mark those on your chart uh, the the 44 level once we cross it we get, have to tangle between 46 level once we cross the 46 level we are home free of course there is a little back and forth but then uh, it is much easier to break the 47 than the 46 so this is where uh, uh, from the technical side uh, this is where we need to uh, despite all the rumors on on a multimedia that chart gentlemen does not fail again no matter what is the rumors are the charts do not fail that one here the daily chart if there is a sellers start coming back overnight today the support area at 40 level it has been confirmed twice so if there is any drop it's, it's not gonna go no further than the 40 and it has been confirmed the 40 level on the Bitcoin is valid so even if there is a sell off there is first of all a support area at 42 level and I don't know if somebody on the Twitter uh, he has a million followers and uh, today he get up this morning in a bad mood and say I don't like Bitcoin and if somebody gonna react because this is a really what is the problem with the uh, with the news and rumors and all kind of stuff and uh, welcome to trading so there is some minor support to keep the the Bitcoin up but if it's any sell off this one here has been confirmed the 40 level so uh, and that it is um, so if we we want to go in this little bit more uh, immediate entries uh, on the Bitcoin and the Bitcoin is the oxygen for Ethereum uh, um, um, Cardano and all other crypto and I want to deal with so it is the oxygen so uh, if we can predict where is the Bitcoin going then we can make easily decision uh, about uh, Ethereum or uh, Cardano or uh, whatever it is. I don't want to get into it. There is million uh, cryptos out there. If we, if we a little bit go to the um, immediate entry to, to the Bitcoin, we are using 30 minutes. As we see here, the immediate entry, it is on neutral right now. And if we look at the uh, the, the 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 buyers over the sellers this one here is confirming with six different time frame there is some other system in conjunction with the buyers and the sellers to predict for us where we are which we can see now start leveling up and there is little bit more buyers start jumping in it could be from the Asians because now it is uh, 428 uh, Eastern time and it could be they are jumping on the wagon because we survived the feds today it is wednesday so on the immediate uh, trade uh, yesterday uh, early this morning uh, what we did we had those signal long on the uh, on the on the, uh, the the bitcoin when it was way at the bottom around 41 level we got the signal to enter the market the problem in here it was in yellow which it was a lot of a neutral between buyers and sellers and the you know supply and demand so then the the the, the warning sign start coming in to start going long at the around 41 level and then as we see here those those indication guys we've been developing for 15 years we're not using a platform indicator made out of a kitchen table uh, this is is a, is a total different level and uh, then we had the end the end means your ABCs are over and this is where profit should be taken and it did if you notice we had the entry here 
take a profit here and if you notice the the bitcoin stayed below that line which it was 43 level okay and now if we uh, the momentum is changing in the market the mood is changing and now if we look at this market the buyers start coming in right now as we speak and When, when when the system has indicate there is a profit taken here okay you need to take a profit it was below the 4337 if we notice now the mood has changed and you can see all the indication and the buyers and this one here is giving you the okay to start going forward with your trade the resistance at 43 level gentlemen is no longer resistant has become support so now we can depend on that one as a support for those guys they trade on a day trade and the, the stop loss should be below the 43 level around below the the, the 40 be, be, below the 43 300 and right now we are tongling and we're gonna come in to the 43 uh, level here so the indication here there is a resistance here and this one here the 43 level is confirming there is a hard resistance in here if we have the buyers start coming in you can see the market start changing direction they start turning to the green if you go back to this video it was a mixed uh, indication red and green I don't want to go through the details about it so I'm hoping that we can break that area once we break that area you gotta deal uh, with the, the 45 level now the calculation has changed the 45 46 uh, level around there this is, is gonna be uh, the, the Bitcoin going back and forth back and forth trying to penetrate that area here so expecting a little volatility when the bitcoin come in around 46 level is going to be back and forth until if there is enough buyers to penetrate that area once we break that 46 level we are uh, more in the safe zone for a uh, very serious breakout so um if you monitor this i wish i can go live with it uh, and uh, share this right now <coughs> excuse me but we've been working 16 hours and it's time to take a break so this for the ethereum as we said as we talked uh, well, what we are doing we're trying to analyze what's going on to get ready if we go ahead and confirm with uh, ethereum if you want to also this is a really um, a better looking chart for the Ethereum on the immediate uh, entries. Uh, we have a huge, we have a huge support area on the 3000 level. So if this Bitcoin able to break that area here, folks, there is a good potential. Those, the 3000 will be breaking out and we are looking by tomorrow around 3,082 level. If we wanna just, just reconfirm some other levels based on 30 minutes, and uh, it's right on the clock, you can see it's a bigger picture. Let me show you something, folks. You can see here on the 30 minutes, was a struggling to break that area here. And from 12.30 this afternoon until now, the, the Ethereum has confirmed this is a support area. For a professional trader, this is indication that you need to take a trades in there. Again, we are only uh, uh, showing you what's going on. We're not your financial advisor. This is a confirmation for entry and your stop loss should not be that much on it right below the double support area 
So the resistance becomes a support and has been confirmed for many hours that this is the support uh, entry and this is where you need to start gathering your gears and take a trade. On the Ethereum, you're going to have a little bit thick wall to break the 3121. And it's all depend on uh, the Bitcoin if we are able uh, to break those walls. And then we're going to go to the, the next, the first target, taking some of the load off is 3121. The second target to load some of your uh, uh, coins is 3191 for the day trader. Uh, but uh, for a guy is looking at the bigger picture, looking good. And uh, what I'm looking at at the moment, I see there is some major breakout is coming in. And and uh, once we survive those two level, we are looking for serious. Uh, technically, this market is going to be uh, on the uh, on the uh, on the really uh, good side. Uh, and as we are going on the direction. So just bear with me one second, please. If we just want to show the details to to you guys. If you notice here, this is a 30 minutes chart. It came into the 43, 540 the first time, the second time, you see that support. The support is 43. This is for an immediate trade. This one here is for a bigger picture to guide you where you are going with. And now if we notice here, there is a small star under that bar, and it is a huge calculation that small uh, is indicating. Look at this. Be below that bar here, folks, there is a small start indicating we are going in the right direction and indicating there is a good uh, uh, chances we are going to penetrate that level. If you look under that bar here, there is no stars under it. If we look under that bar, there is no star on, on it. So that indicating that we are on the, uh, on the right direction and most likely we are going to penetrate that area here. And if there's any, any sell off, we understand where is our limitation. If some kid on the multimedia uh, try to spread rumors, we know exactly where is his limitation. Even a big guy, even a big trader, even a big wells. They are not, again, guys, again, even big wells, they're not able to break that 40 level. They need much more than a few Bitcoin to break that. You know, uh, usually what they do, they wait till when the volume is low uh, to drag it. So even if uh, they try to scare the trader, trying to penetrate the 40 level is going to take much more than that uh, to 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 be uh, um, breaking the 40 level. So right now, uh, the 40 level, uh, it is your best friend. So you know where is your limitation if you are in a position. So right now what we see, uh, the, the Bitcoin want to lift and most likely, in, in, in my opinion, um, if we if we notice here, in my opinion, I think we are able to break the 44 level, the 43, and has been confirmed in here, as you see. So once we break that level, we're gonna start tongling with the, the the next one. For the Ethereum, it is much better looking at chart. If we wanna look at the daily chart, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be also. Um, but I mean, if you want to go and look at the daily chart, uh, I prefer to uh, make a decision on the Bitcoin and then take an action on Ethereum because they all follow Bitcoin. No use to uh, go on the technical uh, high time frame on the Ethereum because if this uh, Bitcoin not able uh, to break those level, uh, it's become uh, the daily chart uh, irrelevant. Again, if we want to look at uh, a bigger picture, which uh, like uh, we have in the future trade, and the ES is the, the oxygen for the rest of the market, 
the Bitcoin is the oxygen for the rest of the crypto. So if we want to look at the, uh, the bigger picture on the Ethereum, uh, yes, it is on a daily basis. You can see has been confirmed those level here from yesterday. And, and uh, there is not, not much holding. And as you see, the major resistant area on the Ethereum on a daily basis is 36.48. But from here to here is irrelevant because if this Bitcoin, which I think is going to make it, if Bitcoin not able to break it, that daily chart on Ethereum is not going to be valid. So that's why I prefer to keep it uh, 60 minutes, uh, 30 minutes if you want to, or, um, you know, 30 minutes, because the system is a, a very accurate, uh, does not uh, require a very high time frame to trade. So this is a confirmed, and also we had the sell, the, the buy signal much earlier uh, on the buy signal where we need to enter the market, and you can see the system measure it on the pullback and uh, immediately give us the indication you need to enter the market. Of course, in this area here uh, could be a very high uh, risk, but when you are waiting or a confirm like this one here on Ethereum, that the resistance line has become support. That's mean you have a green light from here to here. And what we do, and uh, we, we will measure here uh, the uh, the Bitcoin uh, that can give us the indication for the Ethereum and the rest of the small cryptocurrency. So this is all what we have for you guys today. And I hope you can use this information uh, for uh, tonight or tomorrow uh, because those levels, they're not going to change. Uh, those levels that, that will hold for 48 hours, not unless if there is some kind of major news come out, spook the market or something interrupt the, the, the price action. But from the technical side, even if there is a small, uh, um, uh, some people uh, they, they want to scare those uh, retailers, you are, you are, you are, I showed you where is your safe mood or where is your uh, level, and I hope that will be uh, useful for you. Folks, that's all what we have for you. I would love to go live with it and uh, and uh, share my screen with you, but uh, after 16 hours, I'm really not in the mood for that, and you can hear it from my voice. Uh, we talked nonstop 16 hours, and then the battery is out. So I wish you the best, and please save uh, and the trade. And thank you very much, and God bless you all. Bye for now.